acanthophilus. It means spiny scales. Yeah. Just hearing that translation, you immediately get a picture of something, well, pretty extraordinary, don't you? You really do. Yeah. And uh, it's a perfect name for what we're digging into today. Right. We're heading back, way back, to the late Cretaceous in England to explore acanthophilus. It was an ankylosaurian dinosaur. One of the armored ones? Exactly. The armored type. And we're really getting into the weeds here, looking at the actual science, not just you know, the stuff you see in kids' books. We've got the old scientific papers, mm -hmm. the original descriptions, the arguments back and forth, and then there's this more recent view paper that really uh, shook things up a bit. It did. <laughs> so if you're curious about paleontology, yeah. how we, you know, piece together these ancient animals from bits of bone yeah, and how our understanding actually changes over time, well, this should be pretty fascinating. We're hoping you get some real aha uh -huh moments out of this. Definitely. Okay, so where does this story actually start? It wasn't like a big university expedition finding the first bones, was it? No, not at all. It was um, much more random, really. Around 1865, this commercial fossil collector... Don't miss the full episode on our YouTube channel, Randomness Reloaded. If you enjoy the content, we'd greatly appreciate your support. Like, comment, follow, and subscribe to stay updated with our latest uploads. Your engagement means the world to us.